Patrick. How you doing? Good, Todd. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, too. So we got Patrick with Daniel Defense in here. He's going to tell us what some new projects they got going on with uh, ADS. And uh, so what's the first one you have? Yeah, so, Todd, uh, Daniel Defense and ADS really wanted to streamline the process for the unit level armor that has to maintain a Mark 18 or an M4 upper right. receiver groups. So there's different maintenance cycles for all those parts, but we wanted to be able to put all the parts together under one part number so that this guy can go out and he can say, hey, I need to maintain a hundred uppers. Uh, so, so, so currently, what are they doing? Currently, they have to go through DLA and buy, you know, this cam pin and this firing pin and these cotter pins all separately. Right. So, so we, we really thought hard and said, hey, what are all the parts that if you're breaking down an upper receiver to replace a barrel, what should you go on and replace and how can we make it as easy as possible for these guys to be able to do that? Okay. So we included in the kit uh, a barrel. This is the 10.3 inch variant for the Mark 18. We also do a 14 and a half inch. Okay. Uh, we put a Mark 12 gas block, low profile in there. Uh, we put a firing pin, retaining pin, a firing pin, a cam pin, a new gas tube, and a new bolt assembly. So all of these parts are manufactured by Dana Defense. They all meet or exceed the current specifications that are being procured through these, uh, through these channels already. Uh, and, and when I say exceed, uh, you know, I'm just real proud of the Dana Defense barrel. Oh, all, I know. Yeah. All of our barrels are made from scratch. They're all cold hammer forged. They're all 4150 ordnance grade steel. Uh, and then they're all uh, chrome line boring chamber. And so they're, and they're made in uh, Savannah, right? Yeah, they're made in our Black Creek facility. Okay, right outside, at, Savannah, at, right outside of Savannah, absolutely. Okay. So, you know, we're seeing exceptional accuracy, great barrel life, and every customer, you know, that, that gets to shoot a Dana Defense barrel just raves about, about how great they are. So we're yeah, real proud of them. Yeah, talk about the, uh, was it the stress test y'all did? Yeah, the torture test the torture video. Test. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. Go check videos. it out on DanaDefense.com, actually. Cool. Yep, uh, another new product that we have going on, um, is the uh, is the 416 modular float rail? Okay. So one of our most popular products in our rail system line is our modular float rail that we do for the AR-15. Right. Uh, that was actually born out of this requirement, which started a couple of years ago, where a customer came to us and said, "Hey, we have an HK 416. It has a very robust handguard on it, as right. you know, as it's made. We're looking for something a little bit lighter, a little sleeker, and that'll give us the modularity to attach certain things at angles and offsets, uh, but not have rail when we don't need it because they like to run very light. So we set out to design, you know, the perfect rail system for them, and uh, this is where it ended up, and we've seen some success with it. Uh, you so know, do, does the armor have to put this on? Or no, you? man. I'll, let me let me let me show you. It's it's captured by a single screw right here. Uh, it's it would be considered toolless because the bolt face right I here. Know, I noticed that. You That's throw the lug cool. in there, right, and then you just back it out. It's got a single pin which is captured in here, so you can't lose it. So if you have to do something in the field, you don't have to worry if I right. take my reel off. It's so it fall out. comes right off like that, locks up real tight, uh, and, then it's on. and then it's on, man. So there you go. So um, I'm sure people are wondering, you know, what's going on in the industry right now? How's it affecting Daniel Defense? And are you guys staying up with production? What are you all doing right now? You know, Daniel Defense is able to keep up with production very well because we set our customer expectations early on. Okay. We saw uh, an increase year over year of a, about 100% in the demand for our product. So we, we had a very good understanding of how much stuff we could possibly manufacture throughout the year. We created what we call a build schedule to set certain dates of when we're going to build certain components. And then we gave that to our customers and allowed them to order against that. So right. never is a customer going to come to Dana Defense and be put on this infinite back order list where they don't if know. If you're in the supply chain, you're there. Right. If we give you a date of when we're going to deliver a gun to you, right. not only are we going to deliver, you know, on that date, but uh, you're not going to have to sit there and wonder, you know, is it next week? Is it next week? So well, I know we just sat down with when I had my other hat on and was ordering with tactical sure. distributors, and so now we're in. We've got yeah, you got the upper pipeline, man. Yeah, we got, we got, we got, we got 300 blackouts six eight three hundreds five five sixes, and we've seen a lot of success with tactical distributors and those Mark 18 uppers. So I mean, that, those things flew out the door. Was, yeah, I was I was actually really surprised that that many people were, had tax days. I think you're buying all of them. <laughs> I, know. I wish. Well, well hey. Patrick, it was good seeing you. Yeah, thanks a lot, Todd. I really appreciate it, man. Thanks for coming out. Yep.